Hello and welcome back to Dark Side. This is yours truly, Lord of the Mad. Hi, Lord of Flossy's Harmony, just a spiffing and glove, doing two boxes of madmen. Get this bucket, this is 13 and all around neutral guy. Let you have discovered that there is a piece of the abyssal armor down here. Uh, this is the fourth time I've tried to record this particular episode. Keep getting into some technical issues, crashes, accidental forgetting to record the game audio. And uh, just getting stuck for a quarter an hour doing absolutely fuck all. I'll count that as a technical issue as well. Though less of a... You know... Technological technical issue. And more of a... Uh, oops, I fucked up kind of technical issue. Right, I'm gonna go back to the crossroads for a second. I have been informed of uh, the way to get to this chest that I was unable to find previously. Uh, namely, you have to destroy all the water hydrants. The approaches. I'm trying to find one right now, so I can show you what I'm supposed to destroy. Oh well, there's one. Oh, there's another one. So, that should be the last one then, I guess. Or not. Ah, oh, there you are! I was looking for you. Come on, little hydrant. I'm gonna destroy you. At least, at least you don't have to go to the second floor to catch it. So... There is that. What's in this chest, anyway? This I really don't know. Just souls. Fine. Alright, I'm going to return to where I was previously now. Morgan, will you be willing to help me get there? Thank you. Alright, I'm going to go to the Ashlands and the area first. And then I am going to go to the other place, which is where our thing is, so... I don't really see any reason to go there before I have to. Because I will have to go in that direction when I need to go meet Alfin anyway. Which is just after I get all the seven pieces of the blade. I once had all of them. Then I realized that I was not recording game audio. God damn it. Ah, it's this place. Alright. I just realized something. Look. There's a portal there and there's an area up there. When this door lifts up, there's also a portal at the other thingy for opening this thing. So I need to go up there. It's extremely important to my thingies, my reasonings. My desire to beat the game. Ah. Wait, I need to place the portal first. There we go. Lock it on this side. I can, in fact, move calmly. Just drop the door on him. Oh. No such luck. Close there. Close. Alright, so. I guess the best way to do it is. Open the door, then slow time, so I will have time to jump while it's at the peak of its height. Then I'll shite. And then complain about the fact that they were kept moving after getting there, because the camera flipped me around. Get out. <laughs> and not too bad there. Could have gone worse. Now, what do you have for me? Death's blessing, passing with strange dark energy. This unholy sigil bears the mark of false brother death. What does it do? What did it do? No. What does it do? 
Maybe if I put it on this, it would make sense on a sky wouldn't it? What does it do? It didn't tell me that much. Oh well, I'm gonna keep moving forward. The dry road. Last time I recorded this, I would say that getting the Armageddon Blade piece from this will be really easy. Because it's no, not hidden at all. It's really easy to access. Basically, I just have to walk there. That's what I said. Because that's what I believe to be true. But since then, my I've been informed otherwise. As you can see, we are going to have to face Uriel. This is no ambush, horseman. I come alone. I, Uriel of the Hellguard, a champion of the White City, call you, horseman, to next sacramentum. Fool. I lay claim to your life before the Creator. Will you dishonor this law as well? Why? Because Abaddon said you understood honor, and because he was the best of us. The death oath cannot be broken until one falls by the hand of the other. I accept. Oh, hey, come on, that's that was rude. I wonder how this uh, enchantment enhancement works on this dear lady. Because last time I did this fight, I just had the uh, health absorption thingy. And kept complaining about how lazy a swordsman she is. As you can see, she just, you know, goes around throwing swords instead of just fighting with a sword. Like, would be honorable. No, she just goes dropping around the million swords. Oh well. And she flies too high for me to be able to catch her either. Oh, I didn't know that worked. That's that was pretty cool. I did get the single quick time event last time. You underestimate. Ow. Come on. Now you're going to do that separate thing again. I also didn't took see that last time. It's nice to see she has some strange stretches. So she's still going to try to drop a million swords on me. Which won't work, because that's a silly plan. Also because she kinda lights up the area where she wants to drop a sword. That's also why it doesn't work. Come on then. Now imagine if this was a 3D mission, that sight in your face would be quite annoying indeed. Good thing YouTube doesn't support for 3D. Come on. No, neither does the game really, but still. No. I had to make a joke. I had to do it. They made me. The cinemas that make me wear glasses or glasses, they made me do this joke. Come on already, you will. You underestimate I don't underestimate you. I know you're going to take years to go down. It literally takes ages. Oh, there we go. To me. Abaddon is the destroyer. Liar! To protect you, he kept you from the truth. You pledged to follow your lord into hell, never knowing what awaited you, or what he would become. Abaddon. He was betrayed and became the enemy of all creation. I've been to the tree. 
Its gift was truth, and I share it with you now. Remember the Death Oath. Soon it must be fulfilled. At first I was completely unaware of what the Death Oath actually meant. As in, I wasn't sure what they were swearing. I, I understood that the Oath needed for one of them to die, but... I guess it's just the Oath of uh, one having, having to slay the other. Huh. That's not nearly as bad as I initially expect expected, Runa. Alrighty then, um, I'll thank you for watching and I'll go to Dash Hands and get another piece of the blade. So I'll see you there. Next time on Darksiders. Give me the final piece. It is mine! This alarm. Oh, well, now the description is wrong. War changes outfit. God damn it. Um, um. I suppose you need to edit that then, eh? From this point on.